Hi Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you some fun new product that's in the new annual catalog. And I can actually show you the inside of the catalog now. This is what it looks like. So I, I did play with this stuff last week and showed you some samples from this stamp set, the Celebrate Sunflowers. But, but there's also another stamp set that goes with this suite. It's called the Jar of Flowers. And it's so cute. It's this one here. So it has all these different flower bundles. And then it has a mason jar. And the mason jar is a punch. So it coordinates with this punch. And you can get those bundled together. And even more fun. It also has these mason jar shaker domes. So let me show you what they look like. They come and they're um, shaped like a mason jar, like the punch, and then they're adhesive on both sides, so they're really easy to use and make a shaker card. I have a few different things I wanna show you, a few different techniques. The first one, I'm just gonna show you on the background of the card. In this stamp set, the jar of flowers, there's this piece right here. It's like a, it's just a straight line, but it has little slashes. So I wanna use it as a background on my card, but it doesn't fully fit you can see like you have to stamp it more than once. So let me show you how I'm gonna make that look complete. So I'm gonna use my Versamark to just pull through that same color of the Bumblebee paper. And I'm just gonna ink it up here. And I'm using my grid paper, so I'm lining it up perfectly on the bottom line. And I'm just going to stamp right in between the grid lines here, okay? So there's one, and then I'm gonna do it on the same side over here. Just like that. Now you can see it doesn't quite line up, but that's gonna be okay, because I'm gonna cover up that middle part. So I'm gonna do that all the way up the paper on every other box, we'll call them, on the grid paper. Okay, just like that. I'll do one more here, Let's see? To do it takes a little bit of time but it's really easy so I'm gonna bring in the one that I've already completed here so that's gonna be the background on my card okay next I'm gonna bring in I so I've already um, pre-colored this um, flower bouquet here I used the Calypso coral blends and old olive and daffodil delight and then I stamped my mason jar and I used um, gray granite on that. And then I also stamped the stems down in the bottom here. Okay, so I've already done that. Next, what I wanna do is I'm gonna take, this is the piece that my mason jar is going to be on, like that. But I'm gonna punch it out first. So I'm gonna take my mason jar punch and I'm just gonna kind of line it up here so that it's in the middle and punch just like that and then what we'll do is that's going to be under there with this on top and our shaker dome so i'm going to get the little pieces that i want to be inside my shaker dome here so i'm using these cute flowers for every season gems and i'm just going to use only the clear ones on this card i think so i'm just going to grab few of the clear ones and then I also want to use this other punch this is a cute new flower punch that um, is in the new annual catalog as well and I'm gonna take some more um, designer series paper from this suite and I'm just gonna punch out Woo! and I'm kind of gonna go everywhere I just want to punch out a cute a few cute little flowers to put in my shaker dome as well now I am going to make all of those be inside my little mason jar here this is how I like to get my shaker dome onto my background I just make sure they're all lined up in there so I'm gonna take my shaker dome and I'm gonna peel off the back piece like that and then I'm just gonna line this up so that you can see the mason jar all around the edge, just like that. 
and I like to get a really good seal and just make sure I push down really well on there. Okay, so cute. Okay, and then I'm going to peel off the top piece here and I'm just going to lay my designer series paper over the top of that. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to bring my card in and build the rest of my card here. So I'll add a cute ribbon and I'll add a saying, but let me bring in some other cards that I've completed with this. Here's one that I did. I used the sunflowers from that same thing and we have the shaker. So fun. And then I also made this one. Now this one I didn't do a shaker card. I just punched the mason jar out. Thanks a bunch. That's so cute. So you can use it with the um, plastic domes or you can use it without. It's cute either way. But this has been such a fun set to play with. So the annual catalog is now live. We're so excited. Don't forget to grab this bundle and you can play with it too. It's so much fun. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments and we'll see you next time for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.